Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody. Today I'll be breaking down games 1 through 9 from this past weekend's weekend league and it was a rough weekend. All of it was streamed over on Twitch. Link is in the description if you weren't there. Why weren't you there man? Like seriously I have 690 uh, subscribers on YouTube and there were only 5 people there consistently. Like what is going on? If you're over here on YouTube and you, and you enjoy the content, make sure to follow the Twitch, tune into the live stream, it's going to be streaming every weekend league from now on. If I have time, sometimes school gets in the way, I'll let you know of that, of course, throughout the week. And on my other socials, also in the description, Instagram is in the description, Twitter is in the description, over there, I'll let you know if I can post some in the week, uh, the week or if I can play weekend league or not. But just, man, just follow. That's all I ask. It's free, just follow. Another thing. Only 75% or only 25% of the people watching my YouTube videos are subscribed. What the hell is going on with that? Uh, if you're watching my videos, please subscribe. It just supports me. It helps me uh, get out there. More people find me. It just improves my YouTube channel. And I really appreciate it if you did it. It's totally free. If you want to make me happy, then please do that. Now, that sounds really corny. But that's what all the other YouTubers do. 101%, man. Anyways, another thing that I want to mention is that I was really tired when I recorded the voiceover of this game. I'm very sorry. It was yesterday. I edited all the footage from this past weekend's weekend league. It took me like four or five hours. It took quite some time. It's quite tiring. So I sound a little bit tired. I'm sorry about that. I still had some of the frustrations from this past weekend league's weekend in me. Or this past weekend, weekend's weekend league. Or whatever. You get what I'm saying. I still was frustrated. Still was tired. So if I'm not quite as energetic as I am right now, because I just woke up, I had a good meal. So that's why I'm kind of energetic right now. Uh, please excuse that. And yeah, enjoy. All right, now look, look, looking back on it, I rewatched the whole thing, me post commenting it, and it, it was pretty terrible. It was really low energy. I did not want to make you watch that. So this is me doing a repost com. So yeah, we're playing against TT Glizzy Gobbler. First game. Of the weekend league and he's already starting with uh, with read options so i already know that this is gonna be pretty annoying because a lot of these people they're really difficult to stop just because i can't play defense to save my life right there he goes to quick slants and that was the point where i was like first of all <clears throat> let me get that fumble appreciate you adrian wilson but this was the point where i realized okay this dude might just be bad for all the people who struggle with stopping quick slants because i know that i did for quite some time this year all you have to do just play Tampa 2, use the guy that's in the mid-read, and then you should be golden. Now, right there, he sends a little bit of pressure at me. Get the post open, and I have to be honest, I was a little bit... I felt a little bit weird, because this star guy started sending some pressure. He seemed like he knew what, I, what he was doing a little bit. Pretty, It was pretty good for first game, so I was kind of scared that this might be a tough weekend league. And we will see if it will be a tough weekend league or not. Right there, I try to shoot the gap, I just can't. I'm going for a lot of hit sticks because I'm an idiot and I was really aggressive this weekend. I really have to stop hit, hit, hit sticking, you don't get fumbles. Um, it's just a bad habit that I collected. Right there, I sent a little bit of a blitz. Gets all the way in, he gets sacked for a lot of yards, 4th and 28. He was like, nah, I'm good bro, you can have this one. So I appreciate the guy for quitting. It's Zen, dog. It's James Harrison in his top 3, I don't know why he would have. Maybe, maybe some, maybe he's glitchy actually because I, th I think I saw him a couple of times uh, this weekend league. And maybe he's glitchy. Maybe I have to try him out. Nevertheless, throwing into the flat, very easy. Um, it's out of heap down on the corner out. I see the post open. I throw it. It's completion, but I really want that to be a touchdown. The reason why I want that to be a touchdown is because generally these posts, these skinny posts, as I throw a beautiful slant to TD Tyler Lockett. Uh, just because. These posts are so good against man coverage. They very often get open for one play touchdown. I need that to be a touchdown next time. Nevertheless, he gets the ball back. First and 10. Playing some defense. He sees the post wide open. I go to user and that is lucky. Lucky for him. He overthrew it. It would have been a pick. But because he overthrew it and I still went for the pick, I got pass interference. He got an easy, easy, easy drive of that cheating that went on there. He runs a fullback dive, gets in. I, got, I tackled him, but he just fell forward. Right there, throwing the beautiful cover 2 beater once again. I just want to remind you, everything you see in this video is shown for free on my YouTube channel. It's going to be the Strong Close ebook. If you haven't yet watched it, please do so. It's one of my most uh, successful videos that I've done in the channel on, a, on the channel in a very long time. Uh, you should definitely check that out right there. He beats me over the top for some reason. I don't know, Antrell roll. 
and John Sniffs, the same speed. Shade over top, man coverage really shouldn't happen. Third and six right here. I'm going for a cover three reader. Nothing is open. I s or it's not going to be a cover three. It's going to be man coverage. I just see the corner out. And I just want to get the ball off. Really don't want to risk it. Right there, throw a crosser. Very nice. Almost reaching for it. Almost got it. Nevertheless, still in a good possession. Third and goal. Going for this uh, smart right post. It's like a slant. It's that depth. And these rods, they beat man coverage. What can I say? He gets hit. I send the blitz. Uh, fourth and ten. I don't know why I sent the blitz. To be honest, it's difficult to blitz uh, to blitz such uh, trip sets where they're spread out. Uh, but he still could make a read right there. I'm blitzing, strong close. He gets almost the time to throw a cover three beater, just doesn't. Uh, scrambles, gets hit, fumbles the ball, taking it back for six with Leroy Glover. If you run a theme team of, or if you're thinking about running a theme team, make sure you fully upgrade one of your team captains and give him that times three. Uh, team chemistry that you can get on him <coughs> excuse me um yeah it's definitely worth it it really makes team building a lot easier right there i don't fall for the play action he however falls from my coverage just throws it directly at damn I again have to burp uh adrian wilson for a pick six to the drill into the end zone he's out in deuce close he runs play action he hits the half pick in the flat very nice i go for the hit stick because like i said i was very impatient that week in the league he gets a lot of yards or something that he shouldn't have gotten that many yards on, to be honest. First and 10 right now, he runs play action again. So this to the other side, right there, I bait the hell out of him. That is the reason why I personally really dislike those curl routes in the middle of the field. It just seems like it's so easy to look. That third and seven right here, he sends the blitz. He misses me with the user. I just get the pass off in time on third and seven. Skinny post, that's what I mean. These skinny posts, they do an amazing job of beating man coverage and I really need them to do that every time I run them I really need them to right there just with a few seconds left in the first quarter he throws it right at me uh, John Abraham trying to get a little bit sticky right there I just go right into him get slowed up go to get slowed down and then he quits the game he didn't have any of it I feel like my defense would have been able to stop him easily ever since I gave that we won't play touchdown there was really nothing open for him get the easy win playing against Santana Bando two times now uh, and yeah, he's running this front offset. That I remember that game because I absolutely bagged up strong. Not strong. Gamma drop set really is nothing that I can, that moves on me anymore. You'll actually see. It really depends on the player, but I can I can stop players who are bad at a uh, bunch offset. I can stop them really easily now. The players that only have that one play out of that only have that one double post setup, they will not be able to move the ball on me ever. Right here, he runs the. Um, I don't actually remember what it's called. I think it's called P.A. Dig Fork. He fits it just over the top of my head. Uh, bad user by me. Right there, another hit stick. That is one thing, though. It tires out the receivers, and that is a thing. What, that is an argument for. Right there, I just lurked the hell of them. I did not think that I would get there. Um, that's because I baited back to the middle right before he threw it, and I wasn't sure if I was able to turn. But guess what? It's still old gen. I'm able to turn right there. I swerve. Uh past him he really had poor timing use a click on for him that's very unfortunate you obviously can't know when to click on but right there that just worked out perfectly for me he throws it right at me i don't know why he threw it right there um these cloud flats they it's it's the the c route on this uh double post is very short it's not like it goes down the field so i was like well within reach of the yeah um it's just a box i was well within reach of the cloud flat so poor re by him he gave me the ball right here Going for a nice little cover two beater. I'm experimenting right here. Also, the double post is very similar to the one out of the actual play double post out of punch offset, which I also have an ebook on. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Um, that beat man coverage and now right there, I just lurk him. I knew he was gonna go to that. Generally, uh, if you're behind, uh, people want to right there. Good sleep by me. Um, people just want to go deep get some big plays and then you really can abandon the underneath routes and right there he just threw it right, threw it right, 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 threw it right at me i quit also so appreciate you quitting didn't make this game too long or longer than it needed to be needed to be uh beast quake right here it seems like he's a seahawks fan interesting though that he's running the uh in the ram stadium with the rams uniforms peter more top right here beautiful cover uh two and man beater also one thing that i want to point out uh, all of the things you can see, once again, you can find them for free on my channel, The Strong Close Ebook. 
please make sure to check that out it is one of the best offenses right now at the moment and if you're really consistent with the reads it's difficult to stop because there are just a lot of things open and the plays feed really well of each other so if you haven't yet make sure to check that out get the pick right there on yeah i think that's for I, I think it was fourth down can't even remember actually right there the angle route is open beats man coverage once again if you want to beat man coverage consistently i feel like this is one of the best games to beat man coverage out of for real for real so, so check that out um he he has good defense right there i just want to say that it was pretty lucky uh, the crosser generally beats man coverage but if you pass lead up pass lead the crosser up to get over top of a curl flat it sometimes can get pretty risky i was distracted by the running back right there i thought that he was going to go out on an angle route however he just blocks he has like a funky blocking where he goes through the line out of the backfield uh, he gets down and on first goal he passes a very uh very very good or oh, he throws a very good pass my bad um right here nothing is open pretty much he had a step but we just didn't get all of the power into that throw uh, that I wanted to get in, uh, get into it. Second and 14 right here, game is uh, the half is pretty much over. He throws it right at me. Come on, EA. If I get the pick right there, then I'm in a way more comfortable spot. Uh, first and 10 now, I blitz. Sometimes you can blitz these people, but this guy seems like he knew what he was doing. He sends out the half, but gonna flat. Gets down to the six right here. He reaches for it. So the game is tied. If they give me that pick before half, also shout out to Hawk Season. He's been in the streams quite a bit. Thanks for following, bro. I appreciate you. Third and 17 right here. I go for the cover three beater. We had an now looking back on it, we had a horrim, horrendous cut uh, by Terry McLaurin. He also looks really slow right here. He is tired. He's really tired. Shouldn't have thrown that. 52 seconds left, and I pretty much have to get a stop, which I get. Give me that Jamal Adams. Good job, Jamal Adams. One of the best uh, safeties if you have him on a Seahawks team team. Really, really good. Uh, he has like 94 speed. I like I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying right here. First 10. Really nothing is open. I have to get glitchy a little bit. Thank God I got that. Otherwise, it would have been a terrible play. Would have been tough to score. But now I'm in the field. In, uh, I'm in field goal range. I really can't talk right now, guys. I'm sorry. Get the three wins, get the dub. Five zero. As the like record we're at right now, five and oh. Some games are more fortunate than other ones. This game right here, uh, or the game that we just watched against the guy who's apparently a Seahawks fan, but also not because he has the Rams uniforms. Um we just got lucky that game. And thank god I got the win because you really don't want to take L's in these early games. Right there, he just gets everything into that throw. He was in the middle of getting sacked, and for some reason, he just gets a touchdown off it. That's one thing that never happens for me. Uh, I never get a good throw out of sack. It's, it's guaranteed to be a pick pretty much. If I have a throw out of sack, it's a pick. Also, one thing that I want to mention is, in the bottom left corner, you can see my record as I'm at the goal line. And I throw an absolute pick to Troy Palomalo. Like, <sighs> I think that on run commits, it, is, it should be impossible to stop the... Or to... Excuse me. Ooh, right at my acrobat, and we just don't get it. It should be impossible to catch or to catch an interception on the run commit. That's just my opinion. I absolutely hate it because the plays are just so broken. And I don't know if people are 100% focused on the run, how they can just go ahead and just immediately get back to playing the pass. Doesn't work, doesn't work that way with pass commits as right there. Beautiful. Beautiful work by Taylor Mays. I appreciate you, Taylor, for getting up there. But he is just going back to these plays, and he really wants to bomb me. He just doesn't realize that uh, um, if I deep middle right there, there's nothing open right there. So, uh, John, uh, John or Jonathan Abraham. I don't remember what's, uh, which one of the two. Get a pick. Get it almost into the red zone. But just to finish off that thought, yeah, it's ludicrous. I always throw picks on them. It's just... It's frustrating when that happens because I outthought him right there and he just gets lucky. Third goal right here. Uh, I get the throw out of sack. I guess right there I got a little bit lucky. Otherwise, that might have been a pick if it's fl if it's floating in the up in the air and it's not really a good pass. I faded him for the touchdown. That was very close. One second left on the clock. If I don't get it right there, then we might be in some trouble. But thankfully, I got it and we got the touchdown and my opponent had enough of it. The boy, Ty got now my opponent. 6-0 right now. Once again, the record in the bottom left corner. Just to give you a little bit of heads, a heads up where I'm at. Uh, Aeneas Williams gets back there. Good defense by him. 
I just forced that one. Wasn't really open. And that is one thing that I'm very disappointed with myself. I threw a lot of picks on these cover three videos, just being undisciplined. And that was definitely one of them. Very unfortunate. Mad at myself. He sends the halfback out of the backfield. Uh, and then he makes a joke. And then he's gone. Very frustrating when those things happen. It like really was not a good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, I might end that sentence right there. Uh, because you guys know where I'm going with this. It's just frustrating. Right there, I throw a beautiful post to my tight end. Uh, run a red zone setup out of the strong close formation right here. I have the tight end open. Get a little bit of a rack cack. A little bit lucky. Yeah, but I should have hit the running back. First and goal. Just running it in with Adrian James. One of the uh, Seahawks theme teams. Our theme team players. Right there, he fits the corner out and just passed. My Buda Baker. It was in a curl flat right there, and that's one of the things that I actually hate. Uh, sometimes, as he runs combat ship, beautiful throw by him, good read. Uh, sometimes my safeties, I hold him at the goal line right here, which is pretty clutch. Now it's only a three-point game. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, when my safeties don't get out there to cover the curl flat, that's frustrating because they are fast, they have the zone coverage, and they just don't get out there. That's one of the most annoying things right there. I was reading if maybe that was a cover three beater. I just didn't feel comfortable throwing the cover three beater. I thought a crosser. Absolutely beautiful. He uses the middle of the field right here. Or he did something with the middle of the field. I don't remember. Or I don't see what it was. He just leaves the touchdown wide open. Throwing it down the middle. Third and 27. I give that up on the in route. Very good, re good read by him. I did not think that he was going to run the in route right there. Um, I get a little bit cute with my user. He throws it just a tiny bit too late though. DRC, that's one thing that I recommend everyone do that watches this, that watches this video. Make sure to have cornerbacks in at safeties. They play so much better. Do that. It's an, it's like a doctor's. It's like a, uh, what's the word? It's like a prescription. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not from the US, so that's sometimes you'll have to excuse me blanking on a word. She sends the running back out on the f reel right there, and that's, that's where Buda Baker uh, gets there, gets the pick. Now I'm just running the ball, trying to get a first down to get this game over with. I slide down, a little bit of sportsmanship, but also, this allows me to take the clock with me. He sees that, he also shows some good sportsmanship, he's gonna quit, not gonna drag this game out any longer than it has to be. GG's to him, 7-0 right now, playing against Hashwin. I'm gonna be an interesting game, because you never wanna lose games at this stage. Uh... You kind of want to get to 9-1, and 10-0, and 0, somewhere around there, if you want to make top 100, because the games are only going to get tougher. Right, they get a beautiful cover 3 beater off. Uh, Ter Terry McLaurin is just a little bit too slow, gets caught by Buda Baker, and that's actually very costly, because you see, I have to settle for a field goal right here. This is real settlement, because otherwise, uh, don't get caught, Terry, and then we have a touchdown, and everything is fine. Second and five right here is in this trips formation. He sends number 85, break Jennings up the seam. Beautiful throw by him. Very good rock combination. I just, I missed the first step. I saw it right after I took a step with my user towards the line of scrimmage. And then at that point, it's already too late. I have to lurk down uh, to maybe the in route to see if I can. And right there. I have three abilities on my own line. I have two edge protectors and all day on the center. And I don't understand why I never get time. Throw out of sack, gets a pick. Really, three points for free. I can't bag this guy. It's just that it's just impossible if I. Not right there. That was a bad bad read. Not gonna lie. But it's just impossible if I get uh, if I give the ball to him in that short of a field. Uh, he's gonna get three points at a minimum. Right there, he has Devonta Adams uh, with route technician. He's gonna win on pretty much any corner out against uh, Buda Baker if he has route tech. Um, right there, he throws the screen as uh, Taylor Miss. Excuse me. Absolutely lights him up. Good, uh, good hit stick by him. Third and three right here. Gonna pass the ball. And right there, I let go of R2, and that is one of the most annoying things. If I ke keep holding R2, then I have a better chance of completing that pass than if I hadn't. So very annoying right there. Post from the tight end is open, and I get a throw out of second. I'll actually show you the replay of this right here in slow motion. You can see I'm devastated. Um, nobody's near me. Nobody's near me. That is one of the most annoying glitches right there. Jamal Adams takes a step towards the line of scrimmage and he gets speed by J uh, Devontae Adams on an on a seam streak at the five yard line. So I don't really know right there. I want to point that out. Either he has an ability on a, a Rodgers to get that ball out of there with no pressure, uh, with the pressure not playing a factor at all, or he got lucky right there. 
for some reason I never get these things and they're, it's pissing me off right there I'm, you see I'm driving down the field so easily he has no shot of stopping me I get an easy touchdown I'm back in the game third and ten right here I have to get a stop right here and he throws the in route very bad user by me nothing would have been open everything I would have had a chance to make a tackle before getting to the first down I stop him he takes two more uh, minutes off the clock and that is frustrating because that's gonna be what costs me this game I'm going to playmaker up the field, very good playmaker, uh, just fit that ball in, uh, just within the field of play, no, not out of bounds, 9 yard line now, now I have a chance to get a touchdown, as right there, I do get it, got lucky a little bit, got hit as soon as I caught the ball, but I made the play, and you see he runs the screen, he runs the screen, and you're going to see that me being an idiot going for hit sticks, it's going to cost me uh, bigly, I make one false step and then Aaron Jones is gone. He probably has a Packers team team. So that's why he's gone right there. I drive down the field. I take my timeouts. I'm banking. All right, they get the touchdown. I'm banking on, a, on an onside kick. I have one more timeout. So I have to get this right here. And it's a poor onside kick. You'll see. I'll just touch it with my own guy. And that's how the game ends. Very frustrating. And because this guy is a dickhead, you will see that he comes out in field goal. Just to troll. Absolute asshole. Hit this guy. I can't believe I lost to him. He's worse than me. Um, I just had a really unfortunate game. I went for stupid plays. And I got punished for it. Mackie Mack now the next guy I'm playing. Right after this. So this was all the same stream. I was pretty annoyed at this point. So this might be why I'm kind of playing worse. Because I'm frustrated. And whenever I'm frustrated. I play worse. Yeah. That's kind of like some Cartesian logic right there. Getting the. Or getting three points scored on me. Which is pretty fine. I mean, he drove down pretty nicely right there. Nothing is open pretty much. I want a playmaker, and it's just a wrong reaction. It's just, I threw the ball away even though I wanted to playmaker. It's just, I got, got, got the two things mixed up in my mind, so that's frustrating. Get the pick, though. He cannot convert on my mistake, which is pretty nice. Thank you. I appreciate you for doing this. So I have the ball back at the 20 yard line. I have the cross rope and I throw it with the fast lead only to the sideline, not up. And Chukuski Tart just gets there, animates. He was covering the flat. Crazy how he got there, in my opinion. He almost has the streak right there, but Taylor Mays, he's thankfully fast enough, just gets back there in time. Gotta say, not very happy with my defense right there. Got a little bit lucky. What can you do? I got back there and just made the play. Thank God, right there, I'm playmakering up. Uh, one thing that I actually saw looking back at this, if I play maker up right there, you see how the cornerback bites down a little bit. Maybe I could have thrown the post, uh, but of course that's a very slant was all the way open. I cannot believe that I threw that. That is so bad. And if you keep people in the game, if you keep people like this in the game, one time you're gonna make a wrong adjustment. He has uh, Johnson on this on this man beating route, man up against uh, Jamal Adams and. Yeah, he's gonna get right there. Good play by him, I guess. It was my fault, and then I just get greedy. Very bad. You can see me being frustrated because, uh, first of all, I get frustrated pretty easily. <laughs> the people who were in stream know that. Um, but right there, yeah. Cover three. It's not a cover three beater. <sighs> yeah. I don't know why that gets beat. Pretty frustrating. That's the end of the game. You, The guys who were in stream know how frustrated I get. It's people tell me it's good entertainment it's not entertaining for me i can tell you that i absolutely hate it i lost two games that I really shouldn't have lost i'm devastated at this point like you're not supposed to lose two games at that stage of the weekend league and still get top 100 it's just not gonna happen so i really made it difficult for myself check out the next episodes of this to see how far i get maybe i'll get top 100 i ended up clutching up and putting myself in a position to get top 100 so make sure to check out this uh, the next video and the video after that will also break down my rewards. I appreciate you taking the time. See you in the next video. Make sure to sub if you haven't yet. Once again, 80% of the, my viewers are not subs, so that's crazy. Till then, goodbye, and check out the Twitch.